low blood pressure is called hypotension and hypotension is diagnosed when top measurement is less than 90 and bottom measurement bottom number is less than 60 and this top number is called systolic blood pressure and bottom number is called diastolic blood pressure if person is generally healthy if person has no symptoms and if person has no disease, at this case, low blood pressure can be normal. If symptoms occur, dizziness is most common symptom. Dizziness and lightheadedness. And it occurs because low blood flow to the brain, uh, low oxygen to the brain, and it causes symptoms uh, lightheadedness and dizziness. And it's more prominent when persons get up, standing up quickly, from lying down position or from sitting position and this uh, this symptom is called orthostatic hypotension when person gets up quickly and he feels dizzy and he feels lightheadedness second most common symptom is fainting fainting occurs when there is severe and significant drop of blood pressure and there is loss of consciousness for temporary uh, it's also important symptom and third important symptom is blood vision it occurs because of less oxygen less blood to the uh, to the eyes and less blood means less oxygen and person can have blood vision at this case and fatigue and weakness also important symptom for the most common symptom and it occurs uh, because tissues get less blood because of hypotension they get less oxygen and person feels weak and feels fatigue and nausea is also a common symptom nausea occurs because less blood flow to the digestive system and it it causes sense of nausea and in this case uh, skin can be cold and slightly sweaty skin and why it happens, why hypotension happens? Uh, let's discuss most common causes. Most common cause is dehydration. Dehydration occurs when person intakes um, insufficient fluid. If you drink uh, insufficient water during the day or intake uh, lack of fluids, uh, then dehydration occurs and it causes low blood pressure or hot environment or uh, intensive exercise or sweating they can cause dehydration and dehydration causes low blood pressure in most cases also medications blood pressure medications causes low blood pressure it's uh, there is opposite effect of course now we want to stabilize pressure if person has hypertension or high blood pressure person intakes medication for blood pressure and it can drop blood pressure significantly and cause hypotension and diuretics also diuretics increase um, urination they increase urine volume and person loses uh, fluid and person can have hypotension also heart disease causes hypotension such as heart failure heart valve problems or heart attack or slow heart rate or bradycardia large meals also causes hypotension when you eat a lot then blood flow uh, directs toward your digestive system and it is called postprandial hypotension and endocrine problems also causes uh, low blood pressure such as hypothyroidism or low blood glucose level also and diabetes also so low blood glucose level or high blood glucose level both of them can cause low blood pressure um, but um, low blood glucose level causes more commonly and anemia also important because lots of women have iron deficiency anemia and anemia can cause low blood pressure then because uh, in case of anemia there is lack of oxygen uh, because lack of erythrocytes or red blood cells and our body tries to compensate it dilates blood vessels and when dilates blood vessels there is improved um, improved blood flow to the tissues but uh, but our pressure blood pressure drops 
that's why anemia causes low blood pressure and what is the treatment treatment and first and most important treatment is increase fluid intake increase salt intake is another important treatment but if you have uh, heart failure or if you have uh, kidney failure then you should be careful it's important also uh, compression stockings also important to compensate this uh, hypotension especially in case of orthostatic hypotension if person has postprandial hypotension eating small frequent meals is recommended and coffee and tea also part of treatment because of they contain caffeine and caffeine causes temporary boost um, blood pressure in case of if if there is bradycardia and slow heart rate then pacemaker installation is solution in this case if there is severe bradycardia um, Midodrine is used and approved to treat orthostatic hypotension also and from supplement vitamin B12, iron supplements and caffeine, caffeine tablets or caffeine pills are used also to treat hypotension. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.